Have you ever wanted to capture a drone shot that you've never captured in the first place? I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Barris Alcas and in this channel we talk about photography and filmmaking. Recently, I ran into an issue. Last winter, I went to Europe for a project and on the side, I was able to get some content for myself. Now, me living in Canada, drone laws, you know, it seems a little strict here, but it really is not. If you do have a drone that's lighter than 250 grams, you can basically fly anywhere in Canada. There are some limitations, obviously. There are some no-fly zones and stuff like that, but you are pretty much good to fly in most spots. See, Europe wasn't like that. Most of the places that I went in Europe was basically marked in red in the DJI app. And I did get some time to fly my drone in some of the spots that I was able to fly the drone. But you know, even then, being in a country that you don't know, it's just sort of uncomfortable if you ask me. So of course, I was just rushing to get some of the shots and obviously I just didn't really get the shots that I really wanted. Now that I think about it, if I managed to get up in the air, I wish I took my time with some of the shots, but I discovered something. I do have a lot of long videos from my Europe trip. I was recording for like 10, 15 minutes. And you know, sometimes when recording a video, you don't really think of capturing a photo. And in Lightroom, I found this little tool that could really help you create some amazing photos using drone videos. What you have to do is import your drone footage onto Lightroom. And when in the library tab, go ahead and watch the video. And as soon as you see a frame that you'd like to capture as a photograph, what you do is you click this button and it does create a DNG file for you, which if you are familiar with the DJI's raw picture format, it creates the same thing. Of course, it's not as good as taking a photo, but you can do wonders with something like this. This is a footage that I've been sitting on for a while. I watched this footage and here, I see a little shot right here. I'm gonna go ahead and capture this and throw this onto the edit. This is gonna be an Instagram post, so I'm gonna make this a four by five. And with my edits, this is what it looks like. You can take a photo that looks like this and turn it into this using this tool. Now with this tool, you can really think of getting extra shots from your flight time. If you are curious about how I edit photos, I have a special video for that. Go ahead and check it out. It'll be somewhere right here. So yeah, that is it for today. So this tool really helped me create some extra shots and I hope it helps you as well. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you've been here for a while, thank you for coming back. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.